Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I thought we would start out by doing our ABCs, shall we? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And our letter today is the letter W. Can you think of anything that starts with the letter W? It makes a wha, wha, wha sound like water. And William, Wednesday, watermelon, and I heard somebody, worms, you're right. And today we are going to talk about worms. But let's first do some counting. What number would you like to count to? I'm listening. Oh, somebody's brave today. They said they want to count all the way up to 20. Can we do that? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. Now I have something special that I want to share with you today. So let's go over to the table and take a look. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you today. This is my friend, Fred the Worm. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the worm. I have gloves on, not because I don't want to touch them, but if I get my hands dirty, it's hard to wash my hands in here. So anyways, this is the head of the worm down here. And if you look, you can see there's a little bit of a, oops, sorry, he's moving, wait one minute, Fred. He has this little patch down here, that's called the clitellum, and that's where they keep their eggs when they're ready to have babies. And then there's different segments on the worm, and they have, when I lay him down, let's put him down here. Okay, he's crawling along and they have muscles, a long muscle, so see, he can go forward, and then short muscles, so he can wiggle back and forth. And they go through the dirt, and they don't have a stomach, they have um, a gizzard with little rocks and such in it that chews up the, room, the, the food for them. And they like it dark, so that's what he's trying to get away. He's hiding, he wants to go hide in the dark. And so that's what I wanted to show you. See how he's stretching out? And they can have lots of different segments, up to a hundred different segments. And there's no such thing as a boy worm or a girl worm. They are actually both. And if you go fishing and you pull the, or if you pull the worm apart, he will grow a new head and a new tail on those two ends, unless the end is too little. Then the little end won't grow a new head and tail. But if you break it in part, it would grow a new head on one end and tail on the other end. So that is Fred the Worm. So we're gonna go over and I'm gonna read you a story now about worms. Today's story is called Wonderful Worms by Linda Glazer. Earthworms are fat and wiggly just like my fingers and toes. They live where it is cool and dark and damp, where roots spread out like underground trees. Look, there's a robin trying to look for a worm and a little mouse digging. Worms feel sounds with their whole bodies. They feel thunder when I walk. They are wonderful diggers. They dig passageways and burrows, but they don't use shovels 
or fingers or toes. Oh, look, there's a toad. How do they do it? They eat their way through and move along. They stretch out long and thin and then squeeze in short and fat. Then they stretch and squeeze, stretch and squeeze, eat and dig, move and dig. Oh, look what's up there, a big snake. Ooh, let's turn the page, Ooh. Earthworms mix and turn the dirt as they dig and tunnel in the earth. They make the soil soft and airy so the roots of plants can breathe and grow. So they're very important in your vegetable or plant gardens. Worms don't have eyes or ears or a nose, but they do have a mouth. And it's covered with a little flap of skin so that the dirt doesn't get up in their mouth. Then they need food just like I do, but they eat dirt and rotting leaves. They swallow tiny pieces and inside the worms are the, fur, the food changes. Remember I told you they have tiny little gizzards with rocks in there and that's what chews up the food. And when it comes out of their tail ends, it makes the earth rich so the plants can grow. Earthworms are my helpers, the underground gardeners. We work hard in the dirt in my garden, their home. And look how pretty the flowers are growing. And that is the story about Wonderful Worms by Linda Glaser. I would like to tell you a little poem about a worm. And it says, wiggly, wiggly worm wiggles out of the earth so firm. He wiggles fast, he wiggles slow, then back into the earth he goes. So now I have a second story. It's called, What About Worms? by Ryan T. Higgins. Oh, look at that tiger. This is a piggy and uh, elephant book. Gerald, says Piggy, yes, Piggy, I have a new book, but I cannot make heads or tails out of it. Why not? Because it is about worms. It is also about time to get reading. I am a tiger. I am big. I am brave. And I am not afraid of anything. Oh, look, flowers. I love flowers. Uh oh, wait. Flowers grow in dirt. Worms love dirt. And this pot is full of dirt. <gasps> There are no worms, but I did break the flower pot. Oh, look, an apple tree. I love apples. Crunch. Oh. No. What about worms? Worms love apples. What if there are worms in my apple? Splat. Whew. There are no worms in my apple, but now I have no flowers and I have no apple. Oh. Worms ruin everything. Thanks a lot, worms. Look out! It's worms! Oh, it
it is not worms. It is a book. You can learn so much from a book. I love books. Oh no. What if it is a book about worms? Was that a tiger? I'm afraid of tigers. Me too. Tigers are furry. Tigers like to walk. And you can tell their top you can't tell their tops from their bottoms. Oh look, the tiger left us some dirt. Worms love dirt. Oh, and look, the tiger left an apple. Worms love apples. Look at them all munching. Can you see their smiles on their faces? Oh look. The tiger left a book. Worms love books. And it is a book about worms. Worms love worms. Oh no, this is not a book about worms. It is a book about tigers. Should we read it? I don't know. We are afraid of tigers. We are. But we love books. We do. We need to get to the bottom of this or the top. It does not matter. Let's just try to read it. I did not know that tigers are so brave. Wow, I did not know that tigers are so big. And I did not know that tigers are not afraid of anything. Wow, we learned so much and now worms love tigers. That nice tiger left us dirt, an apple, and a book. Let's give that nice tiger a thank you, warm hug, warm hug. Oh no, there they come. They're going after the tiger and he's going, ah! Warm hug, warm hug, warm hug. Well, did you like that story? I did. That book's surprising tale. Made for a surprising tale. I love a book that worms its way into your heart. Yeah. And that is the story, What About Worms, by Ryan T. Higgins. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now, before I go, I just want to remind you that summer reading starts this week on June the 15th. You can get onto our website, www.alleghenyvalleylibrary.org to get registered. And as always, I will have my story times on Friday, but there's some other surprises and things going on too. So make sure you check us out. And remember, I love you.